hi everyone and welcome to your reading so first of all i just want to say thank you to everyone <laughs> who subscribed who has you know resubscribed i really appreciate uh your support okay so i just really wanted to let you guys know that, that i do really appreciate your support um and yeah that i'm very grateful okay so today's reading is what do they want to say to you uh and we have three groups we have group one group two and group three if you want to pause the video to choose your pile feel free to do so but i shall see you guys in your reading okay Okay, there group one, for those of you who chose this crystal, this is for you guys. Let's put this in the middle. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, let's start off with your tarot card. So what does this person uh, want to say to you, group one? So the first card we have is, okay, the first card we have is the Ace of Cups reverse. Three of Swords. Uh, seven of wands and we have the star card reverse and we have the four of pentacles reversed just give me a second just so i can meet in these cards okay so group one what would this person say i feel like this person would say that they're feeling very defensive very protective over themselves or protective over a situation in their life that could you know you know involve like can be in, like energetically involved in this situation so they could be protective of something okay so yeah this person would tell you that they're definitely uh feeling a little bit defensive right now uh, they would maybe tell you that they feel betrayed or heartbroken in some way. They feel, yeah, they kind of feel, I don't know, stabbed in the back, like getting betrayed. Uh, this person would tell you that they feel heartbroken perhaps as well. Like this person would tell you that they do feel very guarded, um, you know, with their heart right now. And they would tell you also that their emotions are either very clouded at this point especially when it comes to you or their emotions are uh, very uh, blocked right now when it comes to this situation um this person may want to tell you that they you know don't want to pursue anything new but i don't i don't know i don't really feel like that's the case for everyone i feel like it's more so speaking of blocked emotions or um this person feels overwhelmed with emotion okay but like they don't really have an outlet, you know, for that emotion. So it's like, for me, whenever I see aces in reverse, it does for me like give the feeling of feeling very overwhelmed. So this person may, you know, tell you that they feel overwhelmed emotionally, especially with that star card being in reverse. Yeah, they could tell you, they would tell you that they're, you know, losing hope. Or that they feel they feel like they need to fight for something in their life. But yeah, there's this definitely this energy you're feeling. I don't know. I don't know if I would say heartbroken, you know, but there's definitely this energy you're feeling very hurt. I could you know you could say heartbroken, you know. So maybe this person would tell you that they feel heartbroken. Um, that they, you know, maybe don't have a lot of faith in this situation i'm really so sorry guys that this isn't more positive by the way i'm really sorry um this person may tell you that they're releasing control over this situation with that four of pentacles being in reverse i'm hearing also that they would tell you that they don't really see a clear direction or see a clear destination or outcome, you know, at this present moment. Like they would say they are, you know, confused, maybe emotionally confused. Like they don't really know what direction they want to take. But I do feel like this person, you know, would say that they're leaning towards releasing control of something. Okay, so 
for example, if you know this person and this is someone who could be quite possess- possessive, maybe jealous, they would tell you that they're releasing, you know, those emotions or releasing control um, or, you know, feeling possessive, you know, in some way. Uh, this person would tell you that they don't want to hold on to you in a restrictive way, you know, in a way that would create restriction in their lives or create restriction in your life. Okay, so now let's look at what these messages are saying, group number one. What would this person say to you? The first card we have is, um, I'm in love with someone else. So for some of you, this person would say, that they're in love with someone else i mean i was picking up this energy of confusion so maybe um this person is a bit confused about how they're feeling right now so for some of you this person could be in love with someone else the next card we have is it's not just physical this shit is spiritual so this person would also tell you that they have not only a physical connection or attraction towards you, they definitely have, they definitely, in their perspective, feel like they have a spiritual connection to you guys. This person may also tell you that they feel vulnerable in some way, like they feel exposed. Yeah, that they feel vulnerable. We also have, I want to feel your skin against my own. So for some of you, this person could, you know, just want to give you a hug or they could want to be uh, intimate with you. We have also, at this point, you're just playing yourself. So for some of you, uh, this person would tell you that, you know, either they feel like they're playing themselves or they would tell you. For some of you, this person would tell you that um, that they have the potential to hurt you in a really big way. So if if okay, so if the message of you know this person maybe I don't know. Okay, so f- like using your intuition and you're asking yourself. Um, you know, does this person treat yourself, treat you, um, you know, with good intention? Like, do they make you a priority? And if you're asking yourself, you know, the, the things that are important to you and this person is not offering you that, then, you know, this person could say that you're playing yourself, like, as in they aren't able to be what you need them to be. And especially if you're still continuing a situation with them, they could, you know, say that, um you know it's like they don't mind the journey but that they feel like the outcome won't be uh the best especially in your like in your best interests i hope i'm making sense but yeah this person would also tell you that they find you to be very powerful they find you to be very brave and that they're very impressed um and in awe of the person that you've become this person would say that um, maybe this connection at the moment is a bit surface level and maybe they feel like they need to dig deeper or they feel like um, or they would want to say that, yeah, that things are just on the surface right now. Surface. <sighs> things are on the surface. I know that means something, but I can't, can't think right now. But yeah. If it comes to me, then I'll say it, but I can't really. Anyways, guys, <laughs> the next card we have is blah, blah, blah. So this person could tell you, um, you know, that they feel maybe bored, like, or withdrawn. They don't really know what to say. Or, you know, maybe there's too much words have been exchanged and it's like, they're more focused on action or they want more action either you know from you know from themselves or from you but it's like I don't know whenever I see blah 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 sometimes I'm like I hear like I'm sick of talking like I want action you know so I don't know it could resonate different differently obviously for each of your situations but 
uh, we also have this honesty. So this person would tell you, like we have the three of swords down here as well. So it's I don't know if you've done something dishonest towards this person, or if you tried to like possess them in some way, then they would either say that they're like like they're onto you in some way. But I don't really feel like that's gonna resonate for like you know much people at all i feel like it's more so that this person would tell you that that maybe they're not able to be you know completely honest with you not okay i don't want to say not able because you know that's a choice but yeah maybe this person would say that they're being dishonest in some way okay especially with that three of swords down there like this person would for say for some of you you know that they do have the potential to like hurt you or break your heart in some way like this person is guarded you know defensive like this person will tell you they feel a bit defensive as well we have it's too late to say sorry so for some of you this person thinks it's too late to apologize um they would tell you that they loved you very much that they had a lot of feelings for you maybe have I mean, it does say I loved, so it's like talking about past. We also have I want to break our energetic bond. Like, where are all these? <laughs> I didn't even really know I had these like kind of cards in here. I forgot. Anyway, so for some of you, this person could, you know, want to break your energetic bond. This person does feel a very strong spiritual connection towards you. So for some of you, this person could want to release themselves from that energy, you know. Uh, we have take the lead. So this person would say that they're taking the lead in their lives. They're taking, you know, control. They're, you know, being more action oriented in their own lives and in their intentions. For some of you, this, this person would say that they want you to take the lead. And finally, we have, I am focused on my priorities. So, I mean, yeah. So for some of you, this person would say that they are focused on their priorities at this point in time. Okay. Let's see if I get any more messages. No. Okay, so with the Three of Swords, that does speak of third party situation. So, I mean, on, only if that resonates with you on, you know, an intuitive level, um, then, you know, take it. But, yeah, for some of you, this could be like a third party, especially with that I'm in love with someone else. So, definitely just be, uh, you know, cautious of uh, that energy, okay? So, anyways group one this is all i have for you i hope this helped in some way i hope it resonated for you and i'm wishing you guys all the best i'm really sorry this wasn't a more positive reading okay um so take care group one bye hey there group number two for those of you who chose this crystal this is for you guys okay so we're going to look at your tarot cards first and uh, let's see what would this person say uh, to you guys. So the first card we do have is the Three of Cups Reverse. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups Upright, the Seven of Swords Upright, okay, and we also have the Page of Swords Upright, okay. All right, give me a second, guys, just so I can straighten out these cards. Okay, group two. So what would this person say to you? This person would say to you that I'm hearing that this person is either not good at making friends or this person is a bit um, isolated at this point, like isolated. I'm kind of getting the fact that something could be hindering them from pursuing a friendship or from working on a friendship or from connecting with you in a friendship way okay so there's definitely some you know energy around friends i feel like it i feel like it's more so that this person wants to be able to connect with you as a friend but there's definitely something something that's hindering that for them but this person would say that they do definitely see potential in this situation. They would say they see new potential. 
and that they actually you know have the intention or have the desire to nurture um, a new connection with you guys they would say that they have uh, a crush on you that they find you to be very uh, beautiful and that you bring out uh, you know an, a youthful side to them and you know this person would say that they you know want to nurture you and that they maybe find you to be innocent or they feel like they have an innocent connection uh with you guys this person would also say that they feel very curious it's like you know not really knowing the direction forward you know they know that there's potential they know they have desires to nurture a connection with you guys um but like all of this is just like very new you know like this person would say that this is new for them or you know kind of different um and that maybe you bring out a young like a youthful side to them this person would say though that they're keeping secrets that they can't i don't want to say can't i don't want to make excuses but this person would you know say that they do have some secrets and um, they are holding something back in terms of communication something that they may be worried uh might you know hurt you in some not hurt i, I mean i mean obviously it could hurt deception in any way could be uh hurtful but this person would definitely say that they have uh secrets i feel like they want to confess you know these secrets whatever they may be uh but yeah this person would say that they have a big crush on you that they want to communicate something to you guys i feel like they want to communicate so like i feel like things here are very innocent or well, from this person's perspective they they do kind of see this connection in a very like hopeful and um you know innocent light and it's just like we have this seven of swords here and it's like they have a secret and they want to tell you that secret but not it's not that they don't want to ruin you know things but and maybe the secret has the potential to hurt in some way i don't know <clears throat> i'm hearing for some of you that this person would say that you taught them something important you taught them a life lesson you know whether it be a major life lesson or a smaller life lesson um they definitely feel like you've taught them something um this person feels like they're able to explore you know new you know new horizons with you new visions uh with you guys this person could want to say that they you know want to explore something new but i don't feel like it's exploring like ugh, exploring something new i feel like this person it's like curious like an more so adventure honestly since i've started reading for this group i've like been seeing the full card in my mind and so yeah this person could want to say that they do have a lot of affection towards you guys i'm not really more so i'm not really getting the message of that they want to take a risk um but more so that they kind of just want to see where things go like they don't really have a destination in mind especially with the two pages being here like i'm not saying they're not serious cards um but it's not grounded you know it's not grounded in anything solid just yet so so i, I feel like this person would say that they um you know that they enjoy the journey or that they want to enjoy the journey with you but yeah they have a lot of affection towards you they feel like you're very beautiful they feel like you bring out a good side a side to them and they are very curious about the potential that you guys you know have together and that they are you know that they do have the desire to nurture this but it's just not grounded it's not solid it's not you know it's not a knight or a king you know we do have two pages here so but you know it's not a bad thing i do get the sense that they want to build on this so it's not a bad thing at all in this just yet just yet i hope it doesn't get bad at all but anyways guys let's see what messages this person has for you okay so the first card we have oh so the first card we have is you are so fudging sexy so yeah this person would say that they do find you sexually attractive 
they would say that they masturbate to the four of you guys as well. <laughs> uh, sorry about the inappropriateness, guys. This person would say that they want to, they would want to speak to you all night. Like this person is very uh, curious about you. So yeah, it's like they do want to maybe spend their nights, their evenings talking to you guys. Uh, we have just friends. So for some of you, this person would say that they, I don't, I don't feel like they would say they want to be just friends. Uh, I mean, for some of you, maybe at this point in time, they want to be just friends. Um, but they do see potential for more. For others of you, um, this person would say that they enjoy being your friendship, but I'm kind of getting this feeling like they can't be your friend. It's like this person wants to be your friend or they want to be really friendly with you. They want to have that friendship bond, you know, that connection, uh, but they can't because of a secret of a secret or because of some sort of hindrance i don't know oh we have secret guys so yeah this person would say that they do have some secrets i do feel like they want to say you know tell you these secrets because we do have two pages it's just like messenger cards right so yeah this person definitely uh would tell you that they want to send you a message like i feel like this person would want to have you know a very light-hearted conversation with you but at the same time it's like there's this serious undertone not undertone but you know serious topics uh that they may want to discuss in the back of their mind you know but yeah we also have fuck me now so yeah heavy sexual energy not heavy sexual energy but you know this person does feel a sexual connection with you guys for some of you this person would tell you that they're feeling a little bit bitter right now um This person would also tell you that maybe they've been dishonest about something for some of you guys, that they've been dishonest in some way. We also have, I've been through some shit. So I'm hearing for some of you that maybe this person has uh, experienced some, you know, unhealthy cycles. Um... I'm hearing for some of you that they're sorry about how the friendship ended or they're sorry. Uh, I'm hearing, okay, so for some of you, this person would say that they, they want to keep your friendship a secret or keep your connection a secret for some of you guys. This person would tell you that you deserve better. Maybe they feel like you deserve better than what they're able to offer. They would also tell you that they're not financially stable at this point at this you know point in time they would tell you that they're done with something i feel like there's something going on in their personal life something that doesn't have anything to do with you or this situation and i feel like it could be draining them a little bit it's like isolating them it's like cutting themselves it's you know whatever situation they're going through right now i feel like it could be isolating them or cutting them cutting them off from their friends from their loved ones but i feel like more so friends because there is like a very innocent you know kind of youthful energy about this but i don't know so yeah this person would tell you that they're done they would tell you not to take something that they did personally oh where is that card gone yeah so they would tell ask you not to take something personally they would tell you that they're done with some with some situation in their lives. I don't really feel like it's that they're done with you. For some of you, this person, you know, could feel like you're done with them. And finally, we have I know, okay? So this person is, you know, acknowledging something, acknowledging that they know something. I feel like that's obviously going to resonate differently for each of your individual situations. But yeah, this person does want to tell you that they know that they're aware of something okay so that is all i have for you group two i hope this made sense for you i hope it made sense for your situation and i'm wishing you all the best on your journeys okay so take care of yourself guys bye Hey there, group three. For those of you who chose this crystal, this is for you guys. So what would they say? 
we're gonna start off with your tarot cards and then <clears throat> we'll look at these messages okay so the first card we have is um the nine of pentacles upright We also have the Six of Cups, okay, we have the Moon, okay, okay, I know what's going on here, and we also have the Ace of Wands reversed, and the Two of Cups reversed. So give me a second, I'm just going to straighten these cards out, guys. Okay, so group three, what would this person say? First thing this person would say that they feel extremely overwhelmed. They feel very emotionally overwhelmed. They they would say they can't see clearly right now. Like they're very confused. Their judgment, not their judgment, but their emotions could feel very um, like, cl like clouded. I'm getting, honestly, I'm getting very intense emotional intensity like this person does feel a lot of uh emotional and passionate passionate like intensity uh towards you to the point that it's very overwhelming like i don't know if you guys are um like friendly like on good terms or like friendly with each other or around each other uh often but it's like this person feels an overwhelming amount of passion towards you very intense but it's like this person doesn't really have an outlet you know this person so what that's what this person would say that they they have a lot they have a lot of passion towards you but um they have no way to channel that um passion that they are feeling towards you guys like this person does feel very overwhelmed by their feelings like it like this person would say that how they feel right now is definitely throwing them on off balance they would say that they do feel uh an imbalance for some of you this person would say um that they're struggling to leave um a connection that's no longer working for them you know this connection could be a connection to work a connection to another person a friend a lover i don't know but this person would say that they do have a connection in their life that they um you know that they need to not that they need to let go of but you know that would be beneficial for them to let go of it's become unhealthy uh this person would say that they find you to be very uh, mysterious incredibly independent and self-sufficient this person would say that they're very proud of you they're very proud of the person that you have become uh, they would say they reminisce a lot about the old times. For example, if you're someone who's known this person, because we do have the Six of Cups. And for me, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's longevity behind this connection. But, you know, whatever connection it is that this person does reminisce about the past a lot. They reminisce about your friendship. Um, this person would say that they find you to be um you know quite innocent not not innocent but they find you to be very kind very nurturing like they, this person would say they feel very comfortable around you they feel very safe but they do feel this emotional intensity to the point that is very destructive you know to the point where it's making it hard for them to see uh, a, a clear path forward so yeah this person would say because whenever I see the Ace of Wands, like for me, regardless of whether the Ace of Wands in, is in reverse or in the upright, for me, it does mean, uh, you know, passion. It does mean intense passion or it's like this person has an idea or it's like this person feels a lot of passion. This person has an idea, but it's like they don't really know how to execute it. It's like this person would say that they do feel very clouded. It's like they don't know what direction to take next you know they they would say that things are very unclear right now uh for some of you this person would say that they want to restore balance between you guys they would say that yeah you're very kind and that they do reminisce a lot about the memories the good times that you guys shared together oh <sighs> there's a lot of um cups and I don't know, I was going to say pentacles, there's only one pentacle card, but um, 
I don't know if you guys are water signs and earth signs in this group, but yeah, they would say they do feel a lot of intense, very, very intense to the point, like this person would also say they feel very emotional about this connection, like they do feel very uh, emotionally sensitive towards this connection. So there's definitely this turbulence when it comes to emotions and this person would communicate that to you. They would communicate the fact that, you know, that they don't, you know, see a clear path ahead. But they would say that they do want to restore balance. You know, they have a lot of passion, but they just don't know really how, like, they don't, they can't really see the best way to channel that towards you guys. very overwhelming but yeah this person would say that they find you to be very uh like they would say they like the way you dress as well for some of you guys random but yeah they would say they like the way you dress the way that you, the, the way you carry yourself the way you present yourself um they really like it but yeah this person is very unclear about how they're not they're not unclear about how they're feeling it's like this person i feel like they are sure Actually, no, they're very confused. What am I talking about? It's like they're sure, but, you know, they're very confused at the same... Actually, I don't know. Like, they're certain about how they feel about you, that they know that they have this connection to you, but they're unsure and they're confused about, you know, the state of it or the direction, you know? Okay, so, yeah. So, let's see what other messages we have, group three. So, the first card we have is... Damn. Okay, so we have... Uh, I waited too long to see your worth and now the joke's on me. So this person would say that they feel like they waited too long. Um, they would say that they should have made a move sooner. And now it's like they're seeing you in this nine of pentacles energy. Someone who is very self-assured. Someone who's very confident. Someone who's very secure. Someone who has a lot of potential, someone who has created and manifested a lot for themselves, but at the same time, they still have so much potential moving forward. So it's like this person is kind of not necessarily putting you on a pedestal, but this person is seeing you in this beautiful light. And, um, you know, now the joke's on them because they, you know, waited too long to see all your beautiful qualities or to really acknowledge uh, what you brought to the table and your worth, you know? But we have nothing will stand it in my way. So like I said, like I do feel. <sighs> so yeah, this person is, I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to like throw things out like, yeah, they're very dedicated to you and, you know, stuff like that. Like, cause there is this confusion, but maybe they are dedicated towards, you know, reaching an outcome. Maybe they're dedicated to sorting through these um you know heavy emotions that they could be experiencing so yeah maybe this person is very determined and i do get chariot energy with this card so it's like even though there could be challenges on this path they um they're willing to face it head on you know but i do feel like they want to work on restoring <laughs> their sanity a little bit before you know moving on like for some of you this person has some loose ends to tie up as well but yeah oh okay we also have i miss you so this person would tell you that they miss you this person would tell you that they want to take you out that they maybe want to cook for you they want to nurture you this that's what this person would say that they want to nurture you Okay, uh, we have family issues. So remember when I, 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 I was saying before, you know, with that two of cups being in reverse, like they could be, they could, there could be a relationship in their lives that maybe isn't working on anymore, but they're still in this connection and they could be, I don't want to say they're working on freeing themselves, but it's like this person is definitely noticing the flaws in some personal relationship, a relationship that's, that doesn't have anything to do with you, uh, but it does affect this connection energetically, you know? So, yeah. So, you know, this person could be having family issues. That's one thing they would say to you. They would say that they find you to be very pure, but at the same time, very raw, very authentic, very intense. Maybe they find you to be uh, very intense. 
Uh, for some of you, this person could be afraid that the passion, the way they feel, won't be reciprocated. Like, this person could be feeling very gun-shy, like, uh, kind of cautious, you know? I'm hearing sentiment, like, sentimental. This person would tell you that they feel very sentimental towards you. And, like, maybe they're holding on to a lot of sentiments that you guys shared together. This person would tell you that they want you close and that they don't want you to run from them. We have here, I am so used to flying solo. So perhaps this person would say that they're used to flying solo. Like with that nine of pentacles being there, maybe this person is very used to being very independent and not being emotionally or energetically tied to someone. Um, I mean... Yeah, yeah, maybe emotionally and energetically tied to someone. Maybe they're not used to it, like especially um, at this like this level of intensity because it does seem very intense. Like especially with that moon card being there. But anyway, the next card we have is you are too good for me. So like I was saying, this person definitely sees you in that nine of pentacles energy. For some of you, this person, you know, could feel like you're too good for them. We have self-love, so this person could be working on their own, you know, appreciation of self, you know, working on their own self-worth uh, and, you know, focusing on self-love. This person is afraid, like, this person is afraid, and I feel like this person is afraid because of the intensity of their feelings. So, yeah, I feel like this person is afraid, for sure. This person would tell you that they're afraid anyway. The next card we have is random four. I love your belly. So uh, this person would <laughs> tell you that they love your belly, you know. And finally, <laughs> we have whipped cream plus your nipples equals yum. So uh, this person would say that they do find you like good enough to eat, you know, like they find you. <laughs> For some of you, this person just wants to feed you, like, you know, maybe eat some stuff over you, but it's not that kind of reading today, you know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, uh, let me see if I get any more messages before I wrap this up. Like, I would say this person does have a very, not a very sexual energy towards you. Like, obviously, there is this very intense passion that they feel for you, especially because they're not able to channel that or express that. Um, so, yeah, they could definitely be fantasizing about you. Oh, okay, the moon. Yeah, this person is fantasizing. They would tell you they dream about you a lot. They would tell you they fantasize about you a lot. They would tell you they dream about you a lot. And they will tell you that they need to be honest, okay? They need to find clarity and then they need to, you know, give you that clarity or give the situation uh, that clarity. But anyways, guys, this is all I have for you, group three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it made sense for you and your situation. And I'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys, okay? So take care of yourself, guys. Bye.